Sports fans all across the world have access to their favorite athletes and teams, often just at the touch of a button. With the money and publicity in sports, cheating is only going to seem more and more severe. That's why we have broken down 20 times athletes got caught cheating on live TV. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. Number 20, Colorado football and the fifth down. In 1990, the Colorado Buffaloes were pitted against the Missouri Tigers and trailed late in the game. On their final drive, the Buffaloes marched down inside the Tigers' five-yard line. After a fourth down run attempt failed, the ball should have gone to the Tigers. However, the Buffaloes quickly lined up, snapped the ball, and scored the game-winning touchdown. Later, it was revealed the down card was never flipped while the officials discussed whether the Buffaloes had scored on the previous play. The game is now called the fifth down game for obvious reasons. Number 19, Diego Maradona and the Hand of God. Diego Maradona is one of the greatest goal scorers in professional soccer history, but his most famous goal shouldn't have counted at all. It was the quarterfinal match of the 1986 World Cup between Argentina and England. In the second half of a scoreless game, Maradona danced in behind the England defense and leaped over the goalkeeper subtly punching the ball into the net using his left hand. None of the referees saw the ball and there was no replay review system at the time to take the goal back. Argentina went on to win the match and a few weeks later won the World Cup. The goal became known as the Hand of God goal. Number 18, Clint Boyer's Illegal Car. Boyer and his team were docked 150 points after his car failed an inspection after winning at New Hampshire. It was discovered that his car was just outside of the strict regulations NASCAR has for cars that actually race on the track. His team would appeal the sanctions, but to no avail. Denny Hamlin would win the chase for the Sprint Cup Championship, and Boyer is still outraged. Number 17, Joe Niekro Scuffs Baseballs. One of the most hilarious incidents of cheating came courtesy of Minnesota Twins pitcher Joe Niekro. In 1987, Niekro was ejected from a game for carrying sandpaper and an emery board to scuff baseballs. In a desperate attempt to dump the evidence, Niekro pulled the emery board out of his back pocket and quickly flicked it out of sight. However, one of the umpires witnessed Niekro's cover-up attempt and tossed him from the game. He was then suspended for 10 games and he retired the next year. Number 16, Danny Almonte and the Age Gate Conspiracy. The Little League World Series prides itself on young, clean competition with implications to the future. So in the 2001 LLWS, there was pandemonium when it was discovered a coach had falsified Danny Almonte's birth certificate and that Almonte was pitching with puberty on his side. The 14-year-old could throw 70 miles per hour, which is the equivalent of a 92 mile per hour Major League fastball. Almonte was mowing down the 12-year-olds he was pitching to, and it created an outcry for the integrity of the game when the story broke. Number 15, Brian Cushing's Rookie of the Year. While at USC, Brian Cushing excelled despite a poor body figure. Then suddenly, in 2009 with the Houston Texans, Cushing was noticeably more built, stronger, and faster. Cushing won the Rookie of the Year award after testing positive for performance-enhancing drugs. He was suspended for the first four games of the 2010 season, but some were outraged before the NFL took away the award. Number 14, Patrick Reed Lies from the Bunker. Patrick Reed is one of the most polarizing golfers on the PGA Tour. Last year in the 2019 Hero World Challenge, Reed actually got caught on camera improving his lie in the bunker. Reed swiped the sand away from his ball to give himself an easier shot, and he was caught on camera and penalized two strokes. Reed maintained that he didn't cheat on purpose, but not many fans or even other players believed him. Number 13, A Rod. Besides the obvious roiding, Alex Rodriguez was accused of tipping pitches to opponents in lopsided games. What makes this so disturbing is that teams in MLB play each other more than once, often three times in a series and at least twice a season. 
not to mention it is dishonest and betraying to teammates. Rodriguez is easily the target of media malice, but this one seems to be outrageous even for him. Number 12, Neymar throws himself to the ground. Brazilian playmaker Neymar should be widely respected and even adored as one of the most brilliant and flashy attackers of his generation. Some, however, will instead remember him as a blatant diver who repeatedly threw himself to the ground during club and international matches in attempts to earn sympathy and fouls. Neymar may not be the worst diver in the history of world football, but his superstar status coupled with his tendency to go down on the sport's biggest stages earned him a mention here. Number 11, Simon Dyson marking his gold ball. Viewers stopping by the channel airing the 2013 BMW Masters probably wouldn't have thought much about Simon Dyson marking his golf ball on the 8th green. However, he appeared to tap down spike marks on the playing field surface, a direct rules violation. The tour disqualified Dyson from the event the next day, according to the rules, all thanks to fans who tattled on the professional. And on top of that, the man was fined $49,000. Number 10, LeBron James fined for flopping. James and the Indiana Pacers forward David West were fined for their roles in a pair of flops on the same play in the fourth quarter of Game 4 of the 2013 Eastern Conference Finals. James attempted some sort of spin move before he dropped to the ground for reasons that defied gravity and physics. While West also exaggerated following minimal contact, neither man obtained any real advantage due to their theatrics. They merely lost $5,000 apiece for their efforts. It will likely shock you, sarcasm intended, to learn that such a minimal financial penalty didn't prevent James from embellishing again during games. Number 9. Kenny Rogers puts his signature on a ball, but not his autograph. During the 2006 World Series, Kenny Rogers started Game 2 for the Detroit Tigers. While on the mound, cameras caught a weird substance on Rogers' pitching hand that was later explained as dirt mixed with rosin. It was clear he was cheating, but the Cardinals went on to win the World Series and all indiscretions were forgotten. Number 8. Park C. Hoon Defeats Roy Jones Jr. During the gold medal match of the 1988 Olympics, Park Si Hoon was getting dominated by Roy Jones Jr. However, in a shocking 3-2 decision, Hoon was handed the victory. German police revealed payoffs and bets that gave Hoon the victory. The scandal led to an investigation of other questionable Olympic victories that made no sense. Number 7. Sammy Sosa and Albert Bell Bat Corking Sammy Sosa was discovered as a cheater in yet another way after a single swing. When Sosa made contact with an inside fastball, his bat shattered into a bunch of pieces, exposing a cork lodged into the beginning of the barrel. He was suspended and his already fleeting reputation was then further tarnished. Number 6. Evander Holyfield is a dish best served cold to Mike Tyson. During a major fight between Holyfield and Tyson, he bit down on Holyfield's ear, removing a small chunk from the top of it. When the fight continued, Holyfield lost a portion of his other ear and the fight was called off. Number 5. Tanya Harding Orders Knee Whack on Nancy Kerrigan In 1994, Tanya and ex-husband Jeff Galuli conspired with Sean Eckhart and Shane Stant to attack Harding skating competitor Nancy Kerrigan at a practice session during the 1994 U.S. Figure Skating Championships. The famous video can be easily found showing Kerrigan yelling why repeatedly. The world of figure skating takes constant flack for its loose connection to sports, but it houses some of the worst cheaters in the history of competition. Number 4. Luis Suarez Biting People Suarez committed one of the most heinous acts in World Cup history when he chopped down on Italy's Giorgio Cellini during Uruguay's final match of the group stages. That act alone was disgusting, but Suarez followed it up by diving to the ground as if he had been hit in the mouth. The referee missed what cameras did not, and FIFA banned Suarez from the rest of the tournament and for four months. Number 3. Tony Romo Pushes the Ball With the Cowboys leading 2017 halfway through the third quarter, Dallas came up shy of earning a first down. Romo didn't accept the result even before the chain gang ran onto the field for measurement, and the Dallas signal caller gently tapped the ball forward with his foot as referees appeared distracted by other players. Number 2. Miko Ranatin 
On November 14, 2018, Colorado Avalanche forward Miko Ranitin attempted to skate away from Patrice Bergeron of the Boston Bruins in the final minute of the second period. Bergeron's stick made contact with Ranitin, who acted by throwing his arms up into the air and sliding as if attempting to steal second base during an MLB contest. Bergeron was whistled for the penalty, but Ranitin was also booked for the dive. Number 1. Bill Belichick and the Spygate Scandal In one of the most famous sports scandals of all time, the New England Patriots head coach was caught taping New York Gents' defensive signals. He was fined $500,000 and a first-round draft pick in the 2008 NFL Draft. The most ironic part of that matter? Belichick won the 2007 Coach of the Year Award. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any content. This has been 20 Athletes Who Got Caught Cheating on Live TV. Have a good one.